Okay, today we're making stew in the rock crock, and I'll post the the recipe or the ingredients to the recipe. First, I'm going. I've 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 got two pounds of stew meat, and I have put um, sprinkled about about uh, between a quarter and a half a cup of of cornstarch on it to so it'll help it brown and also it'll thicken the gravy as it cooks. I wanted to make a lot of stew today because we're going to have some bad weather and I want it to be done for supper and have enough leftovers for tomorrow so I don't have to worry about tomorrow. So that's that's going to brown up a little bit and then we'll add some more ingredients. I, I hope we're recording. I hit the pause button and I unhit the pause button. So I don't know if it's recording. It's starting to brown up. And these are big, huge chunks. So it'll be interesting eating tonight. I'm sure it'll be really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, onion and garlic while we have it starting to brown. There we go. And that those will cook very nicely in there. And I don't think Lucy will find them at all in her bowl. There you go. And I have, I love my garlic press that I have from Pampered Chef, but I went ahead and bought a jar full of garlic that's already minced. It's awesome. I keep it in the fridge. There you go. Keep stirring it around. This is a Dutch oven, Rock Crock Dutch oven. It comes with this glass lid. And this, the Dutch oven, holds four quarts. And it cooks beautifully. This is what I made my uh, funnel cakes in. I did not know you could use Rock's uh, crock crockery on a glass top stove so the funnel cakes are my test you know you have to test with something good but the um the only thing i would say is pick it up don't scoot it just so you don't make sure you don't scratch anything but it cooks beautifully on top of the stove but i'm going to actually put this in the oven and i'm going to set my oven for 250 because i want this to cook all day And I'm going to put this in the oven when, when I have it all filled up. Okay, now to add I've used my little my little cups to for my mise in place. I don't, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Uh, I have I'm looking at my my uh what do you call it? The recipe. <laughs> I've got uh, a, a, about two tablespoons, maybe three, of tomato paste, and because that adds a little richness. I've got a, some Worcestershire sauce, salt, and pepper in here. I'm going to stir that in. Get that down in there and stir it around. Did you know that when you brown the beef before you put it in the oven or the crock pot to cook, that it adds a little bit more? Uh, good flavor to your recipe. It really makes a difference. It's just a little thing, but it makes a big difference at the end. And I could have even browned that more, but I, I didn't. But that'll be fine. And now to add three cups of beef stock, beef broth, Remember, I want to make double portions, so this is a double recipe. And these rock crocks are coated, so you do not have to season them with anything before you start cooking. You just start start cooking them. 
already that has a nice good brown uh, color to it. It's going to make a beautiful stew. So uh, later, I'm going to let this cook in the oven until, well, it's 9.30 now, until about 3.30, I guess, this afternoon. And I'll add, at that point, I'll add three potatoes diced up, some carrots, and a stalk of celery that's been chopped up. And I'll let it cook again for another hour or so to get those vegetables cooked. But um, here we go. Here's our stew.